Hello, and welcome to the Identifix Hotline Archive Tip of the Month. I'm Jim Newkirk, the Identifix European Team Leader, and a Master Certified Technician with over 32 years of diagnostic experience, and I'll be your host. At Identifix, we help technicians from across North America diagnose and repair tough problems on the vehicles that they encounter, and we collect and store those known good fixes in what we call a Hotline Archive. A hotline archive contains the information and tests you will need to diagnose problems you encounter on all types of vehicles and systems. Hotline archives can shortcut your diagnostic time and get you to a solution quickly and accurately. Hotline archives are available via the Direct Hit website at www.identifix.com. A demonstration of the website as well as answers to any questions you may have can be found there. Today's problem is a check engine light illuminated and a P0441 evaporative purge system performance code stored on a 2003 Chrysler 300M with the 3.5 liter engine. Let's take a look at the Hotline Archive addressing this issue. The Hotline Archive contains all the information you will need to diagnose and repair the vehicle problem in one easy to use document. We start with the vehicle description and mileage and a short description of the customer concern. Let's walk through the actual tests needed to diagnose this problem. Step 1. Verify that the hoses for the purge solenoid are routed correctly and not pinched or restricted in any way. This includes verifying the lines to make sure there is no liquid fuel or charcoal in the lines. Clean as needed or replace the lines as needed. Step 2. Verify that the canister purge solenoid will vary duty cycle when commanded to by the scan tool. Replace the solenoid if sticking. Step 3. At the Natural Vacuum Leak Detection or NVLD assembly, which is located on top of the charcoal canister, which is mounted above the fuel tank, back probe the orange wire with a voltmeter. Locate the vacuum line going to the canister from the purge solenoid and remove that line so a hand vacuum pump can be used to put vacuum on the port going towards the canister and NVLD. Block the other two lines at the canister, and then using the hand vacuum pump, apply vacuum to the line while watching the voltage on the orange wire. Voltage is supposed to change at approximately one inch of vacuum. Try testing the switch several times to see if the switch is sticking. Replace the NVLD if the switch is sticking. Now we can proceed to the potential causes of this problem, and in this case, the confirmed fix that solved it. Potential problems are evaporative hoses, faulty purge solenoid, faulty natural vacuum leak or NVLD detection assembly, and in this case our confirmed fix is the natural vacuum leak or NVLD assembly. We also have useful tech tips. At this time, the NVLD is sold with the canister as an entire assembly. We finish out the hotline archive with information on the Identifix technician who took the call and produced the hotline archive the call date, and finally, comments by fellow technicians who have used the Hotline Archive to repair a vehicle they are working on. In this case, we find that replacing the natural vacuum leak detection valve assembly, or the NVLD, fixed this problem. It's easy to see that with the real-world tests, information, and confirmed fixes contained in Hotline Archives at your fingertips, you'll diagnose more cars in less time, and that's a good thing. Watch for more Hotline Archive fixes, and thanks for spending some time with me. Don't forget to visit us at www.identifix.com.